Hey everybody, it's me, Anthony. Um, the topic that I'm coming to you guys today to talk about, um, I saw it on Yahoo today when I was at work, and it says, it's entitled, Mom Convicted in Son's Jaywalking Death. Hold on. Let's scoot this over so I can see it. Um, and in quotes, it says, this will never end for me. Now, to tell you a little bit about the story, it's a lady, she lives in Marietta, Georgia. She has three, yeah, she has three people. Sorry, pizza box. She has three kids. Um, she had gotten off the bus. Um, I guess I want to say, I don't know what time of night it was, but I would assume it was at late at night. So she got off the bus and they say she was about three tenths of a mile from the nearest crosswalk. So three tenths of a mile, I Googled that because I was like, how far is that? That comes out to be 6.39 city blocks. Okay, three tenths of a mile. So I guess she didn't want to have to walk all the way down to where the kids to cross. So she wanted to cross the street and get home. She was tired. She wanted to get home. Now, when she got that, when she went to go cross the street, a car comes and hits her child with one of her children and kills him. This is a black woman. Now, according to the police or according to the article that I read, the driver admitted to have drinking before he got behind the wheel and hit this child and killed this child. They gave this man this man six months in jail for her jaywalking with her children across the street. They are trying to charge her with. Let me make sure I get the charges correctly. Um, they're charging her with hom homicide by vehicle and reckless conduct. Now, I. Totally get it. I, I, I totally get why they're trying to, you know, throw the book at her. I want to totally get it, but this is my theory on it. I want to say this is the reason why. Because she endangered her child by crossing the street. I mean, they have crosswalks. Granted, it was out the way, but I believe if she was in the crosswalk, I want to believe this. If she was in the crosswalk when all this happened, that even if the light was like saying red for her not to go, she still would have been well within her reach. Like they wouldn't have done anything to her because she's in the crosswalk. What I want to believe is the reason why they're doing this is because they want to teach her a lesson. What I believe that they're doing it for is because of her skin color. Because she has two other children. Now they're trying to sentence her to three years in jail. Three years in prison. So not only do I have to deal with the humili humili uh, humiliation, <laughs> I can never say that word, humiliation, and that I was the fact, I was the one that not necessarily killed my child, but I had a hand in my child dying. My child is dead. I have to explain that to everybody, that the person who was supposed to protect him is the one that, you know, assisted in his death, if you will. I mean... Now you guys want to tackle on three years for her to go to jail? So she has to live with all that, her son dying, the humiliation about the whole fact, and now you guys want to throw her three years in jail when the drunk driver, you only gave him six months. Now pause. Rewind that whole story. If it was a black woman driving, had a little cocktail, heading out for the, you know, the night, hey, bitch, yeah. It's a white woman crossing the street. It's her three kids. She's, oh, well, you know what? I don't, I, I've had a long day. Let's just get the kids home. Let's get them something to eat. Let me just go. She crosses the street. Here comes the black woman, pal, hits her kid. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Like, I don't think it's right. I understand. I want to understand. I don't say, I'm not going to say I do understand. I want to understand why they're doing this to this woman, but I think that's unjust. Like, the woman has already suffered enough. She lost her child. I don't know. I just needed to make a video about that because that, like, really bothered me at work when I was reading it. So, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's fair? Do you think it's not fair? Let me know. We'll talk about it in the next video. Until then, this is Anthony.